Hi, I'm Amir Hossein Mirza Bazarf. In this video, I want to talk about the methods of modeling FGM in Abacus. There are several methods for modeling functionally graded materials in Abacus. I will talk about all of these methods and finally I will compare them and I will talk about the accuracy of all of these methods and I will compare the accuracy of these methods. This is the table of content of this video. First, I talk about the methods of modeling FGM by using Abacus. After it, I talk about method 1 that is using Abacus CAE singly. Then I talk about method 2 that is using Python scripting. Then I talk about method 3 that is using USD FLD or VUSD FLD subroutines. After it, I talk about method 4 that is using UMAT or VUMAT subroutines. And finally, I talk about comparison of methods. Now I want to talk about methods of modeling FGM using Abacus. You can model FGM without using subroutines or by using subroutines. If you don't want to use subroutines, you can use Abacus CAE singly or use Python scripting. If you want to use subroutines, you can use USDFLD or VUSDFLD subroutines or UMAT or VUMAT subroutines. In FGM, the physical properties vary continuously, but in numerical solution, the domain is discrete and the continuous variation of physical properties depends on the level of the discretization. In finite element, it depends on the number of elements in the domain. In Abacus, you have to do something for changing the physical properties of elements as a function of coordinates of the element. You know that the stiffness matrix and mass matrix of each element is calculated in its integration point or integration points and you have to do something for changing the physical properties and it means that the calculated stiffness matrix and mass matrix must differ between neighboring integration points. Now I want to talk about the method one that is using Abacus CAE singly. If you want to use Abacus CAE singly, you must use the partitioning tools of parts or mesh modules to divide the geometry into several regions. Then you must define a material for each region and assign it to that region. There must be one element in the direction of the thickness of the region. The simulation accuracy depends on the number of created regions. By increasing the number of regions, the cost of the running of the model increases. Because its volume increases, because the number of elements increases. The minimum requirement depends on the degree of nonlinearity of variation of the physical properties. Now I want to talk about 
method 2 that is using Python scripting. By using the Python scripting, you can write a script for your model that automates the definition of materials and partitioning of the model and the assignment of the materials to each region. This code can take the number of regions as input and edit the model. Even you can write a script that creates the model completely and submits the job. If you do this, you just click and enter and then relax safely. But the development of this code needs a lot of skills. You must know Python language and the rules of scripting in the Abacus. Now I want to talk about method 3 that is using USDFLD or VUSDFLD subroutines. If you want to use subroutines for simulating FGM, there is no need for partitioning the geometry of the model because there is access to the physical properties of each integration point of elements in the mentioned subroutines. This point is very important because it facilitates the simulation. In this case, the accuracy of the simulation depends on the number of elements. By increasing the mesh density in the direction of change of the physical properties, the change of physical properties will be more continuous. Please notice that because of no need for partitioning the geometry of the model, you save time in preparing the model. Because for an exact simulation, you need to make more than 20 partitions and it takes a lot of time. But when you use subroutines, the preparation of the model takes a little time. If you are going to use Abacus Explicit or Abacus Standard Solvers, you must use VUSDFLD or USDFLD subroutines respectively. These two subroutines are very similar. Writing these subroutines is much easier than writing UMAT or VUMAT. In the next slides, I will talk about the cause of this fact that writing VUSDFLD or USDFLD subroutines are much easier than writing UMAT or VUMAT. Now, I want to talk about method 4 that is using UMAT or VUMAT subroutines. If you are going to use Abacus Explicit or Abacus Standard Solvers, you must use VUMAT or UMAT subroutines respectively. These two subroutines are very similar. Writing these subroutines is much harder than writing USDFLD or VUSDFLD because when using USDFLD or VUSDFLD, you just have to define the field variables and probably state variables. But when using UMAT or VUMAT, you have to define the constitutive law between a stress and a strain. In this way, writing UMAT is harder than writing VUMAT. The accuracy of using UMAT or VUMAT can be more than the accuracy of using USCFLD or VUSCFLD. Notice that the coordinate of integration points are updated during the running of the model. So you must define the physical properties as a function of initial position of integration points. This can be done by using a simple programming trick. For implementing this simple programming trick, you must use the state variable or state variables because they have memory and from one increment to the next increment they can save their amount and memorize it and you must use them for this simple programming trick. Now I want to compare the methods. First, 
First of all, I introduced you the Abacus CIE singly. For implementing this method, you need just how to use Abacus CIE. The accuracy of this method depends on the number of regions. The second method was using Python scripting. For implementing this method, you need knowing Python language and you need knowing Python scripting. And the accuracy of this method depends on the number of regions. The third method was using subroutines, a USDFLD or VUSDFLD or UMAT or VUMAT. For implementing this method, you need knowing Fortran language and write and use subroutines. The accuracy of this method depends on the number of elements in the direction of variation of physical properties. You can reach me by my phone number or my email. Our services are one-on-one -on -one tutoring on Skype or WhatsApp and high-quality simulations for thesis, exercises, and industrial projects.